Well, I've got many members of the family. Exactly, but, but they don't all think the same on everything. So we all are human beings and we all see things Yeah, but in you see, ways. we are uh, in the members of my family, we are all human beings. And of course, the members of your family, you are all human beings. But here, I want to uh, talk about, learn about, uh, you know, discuss about God Almighty, you know, who is the actual real God. Because I'll give you a verse from the Bible, you know, when I read in the New Testament, in the Christian Bible, every Christian Bible, in the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 22, it says, Jesus of Nazareth was a man sent by God to you to do miracles, wonders, and signs which God did among you through him. So you believe in that verse, of course. So as in that verse it says Jesus was a man. So you believe Jesus was a man. So it says in that verse Jesus was sent by God. So you believe Jesus was sent by God. So when Jesus was sent by God, Jesus himself could not be God, could he? I already said to you, I believe Jesus is the Son of God, hmm. so he shares in the Godhead of God. So how you're, this is very, so, but this, this, those kind, hmm. can I just say, that kind of discussion hmm. actually prevents me and you and others who engage in it from actually living it and feeling it and allowing it to to be a part of who we are. As I in, want to. What was the message that that, that was to say to you? I want to. I want to go deep into it. Yeah. I really want to learn in it. Yeah, you well, know, because because I have grown up in this country, yeah. in beautiful United Kingdom, from primary school level, and from my childhood. I have had Christian preachers, uh, even school teachers, trying to uh, speak to me about Christianity, about Jesus being God. So, and what do you find hard to accept about that? Well, because, because, you know, in the days when I did not know English much, okay, I couldn't discuss much. I listened mostly. But now that I know uh, English better. So that's why when I read the Bible, I find it very difficult to believe that Jesus was God. You understand? Because... I know, I know, I, I know you see him as a great prophet. Yeah, as a, because actually, actually, you know, we Muslim believe he was a prophet. So as a Christian, would you believe that Jesus was a prophet? So you believe he was a prophet? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's what gets me. Because when Christians say, yes, Jesus was a prophet, but then they say he was God. Because Why do they contradict each other for you? Because you see, a prophet, for us Muslims, a prophet is always a prophet. Whether it's, you know, Adam, Moses, Aaron, Elijah, Elisha, John the Baptist, Isa, Jesus, uh, Muhammad, peace be upon them all. They are all prophets. So we always believe a prophet is always a prophet. Okay? He can be no more, no less. And we believe God Almighty, we say Allah, is always God. He cannot be uh, less than that. Okay. What do you say? I say, Jesus came among me and you and people in the world yeah. to show them how to live. How to live, to yes. To help them to make good decisions, to yes. care about their fellow. I agree with you. All of that. Yeah. I agree with you 100%. Yeah. Yeah. That as, Jesus. As did uh, Allah. Muhammad. Uh, no, Allah didn't come. No, I mean, Allah Muhammad. Muhammad. Yeah, Saint Muhammad. Yeah, sorry, He's sorry. a problem. Yeah. So we believe. Yeah. You, you yeah. see, there's a difference because. But, but we also say that, that Jesus came to teach people, to give us a blueprint for living and leading us back to the Almighty. Yeah, the angel, the book revealed to Jesus, the angel. You might say the gospel. I think 
you know. So yeah, we Muslim we believe in the uh, you know the Torah revealed to the Prophet Moses, Musa, peace be upon him. The uh, uh, you know Zabur, Zam revealed to the Prophet Daud, David, peace be upon him. The Angel, Gospel revealed to the Prophet Isa, Jesus, peace be upon him and the Holy Quran revealed to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Muhammad peace be upon him they were all prophets yes. and and when I say they were all prophets you agreed with me so when I say they were all men would you agree with me? I would agree at that time that was what was reported mm. because at that time women didn't have a voice so they, uh, so they were all so they were all men, including Jesus. Uh, you know, they were men. They, they were men who were um, reported, okay. who word of mouth would have yeah. told the stories down through time. And when Jesus was on the earth, he was a man. Yes? He was in the form of a man. Yeah. So when on earth Jesus was a man? And because is it true that Jesus was always a man? Well, I told you he was the son of God, made man. No, when you say son of God, you see, because uh, when I read the Bible, uh, it's your time to go, is there? You okay? Is it okay uh, for a few more minutes, is it? Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, how are you, sir? Very good. Nice to see you, sir. Nice to see okay. you, Okay. Yeah, and the lady is speaking very nicely as well. And uh, so, you know, in the Bible it says, in the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 3, verse 38, it says, Adam, son of God. Uh, would you agree with that? I think all people are son of God, children of God, daughters of God, sons, whatever you like, but all are equal. I think you're, there's a danger in trying to dissect them. Trying yeah. to break them up, trying to make divisions. Yeah. And I don't think that's the overall spirit of yeah. what it was intended. No, you know. But, but we as human beings do that. Yeah. It's part of our nature. Maybe. Yeah. No, you know when you said that Jesus was Son of God. So uh, that's why I gave you this verse that in the Gospel according to Luke chapter three verse thirty eight, it says Adam is uh, Son of God. Yeah. And then, so Adam was Son of God, but Adam wasn't God, was he? No. Right. So. You believe that Jesus was a uh, son of God. So, would you also believe, like Adam, that Adam was son of God and Jesus was son of God and neither Adam was God and nor Jesus was God? Would you agree? No. Uh, uh, how? In what sense? I already said to you that I be believe Jesus is part of the Godhead. Oh, so you believe Jesus is part of God? Part of God? Yes. I told you that we believe there are three, three divine persons mm. in the living God. Mm. So and Jesus is so, the Son of God. So thank you very much for clarifying that. So you said that Jesus is part of the Godhead. Yes? yes? So, would that make Jesus God as well? Yes. It would. But God the Father yeah. is who Jesus looked to. Yeah. And you remember on the cross, yeah. he cried out, Father, yeah. forgive them, but they know not what they do. Okay, did you say Jesus cried out at the cross? Yeah. On the cross? Yeah. Did God cry out? God, yeah. yeah, Jesus was crying, uh, as the Son of God, he was crying out to God the Father. So, you said Jesus was part of, you said Jesus was part of the Godhead. Yeah. Jesus was part of God. So when Jesus cried on the cross, did a part of God cry? And I think a part of God always cries for humanity. For you, for me, for our brothers and sisters. Do you think part of God can cry? Because he's almighty, isn't it? Yeah. How can the almighty cry? Well, I'm not God, so I can't give you all the Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, a verse about Jesus in the Bible. In the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 22, verse 41. Talking about Jesus, in the Bible it says, Jesus, 
he knelt down and prayed. So is it true that Jesus knelt down and prayed? Well, obviously there were no video cameras there, so I can't really confirm that. But it's in the Bible, it's a verse in the Bible. Yeah, but I told you that in the, the Bible was written for different people at different times, and yeah, we but, interpreted them so people can... But you get the spirit of what, what this was about. Yeah, but you know, we Muslims, we believe in our Holy Quran. Yeah. All right? From the beginning to the end. So as a Christian, you do believe in your Bible. Mm. Yeah. So this verse is in the Bible. Gospel according to Luke chapter 22, verse 41, where it says Jesus knelt down and prayed. But you're not no. listening to what I've said to you. Oh, sorry. What's that? Okay. I said that each time, in each period, in each age, mm. it has been reinterpreted from the very beginning. Okay. It, it was the oral tradition first. Yeah. Then it was a couple of centuries when it was written down. Yeah. So things can get, you know, yeah. a bit different and written for different societies so they could understand. But all the time taking the spirit of what the message was. But uh, you know, you said Jesus was part of God, yes? Yeah, but you, so. You, 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 you're just taking things in a very I know, linear I, I, way. I just want to move forward. But, yeah, but can I tell you, moving forward is a much broader scope. No, just. just you're, not, you're not even entering that. No, just allow me a little bit. I want to move forward how? If Jesus was part of God and Jesus was praying, can one part of God pray to another part of God? That's my question. Okay, well, my, own, my best answer for you is that there's nothing Jesus cannot do, or there's nothing God can do. Yes. Yeah, no, but and, and, I mean... And how can we be so proud to think that we can understand all But God cannot pray, can he? Because we pray to God, God doesn't need to pray to anyone. Yeah. So I if told Jesus, you Jesus prayed to the Father many times. Yeah, but you said Jesus was part of God. Yeah. So I can't understand if Jesus was part of God, then how can one part of God pray to another part of God? You know, it's it's difficult to understand. Mm. But you know, as human beings, we Would you say that's a mystery? Understand everything. Yeah, but it's in English, you know. So uh, I know I, I talked about earlier before I knew English very well. Yeah. Before I knew English very well, I had difficulty. But now I know English a lot more. So now, years ago when the Christians used to give me the Bible to read, now when I read the Bible, because I understand English very well now, better than before, so that's why now I'm asking these questions, yeah. you know. So it is actually the Christians who gave me the Bible to read. <laughs> so when I read the Bible, so many questions Come know, along, and I know, and you know it's, it's even more confusing. Yeah, different Christians answer in different ways. Yeah. And you know, just now I went to that Christian, and he wouldn't even answer me. And uh, very nice of you, you know, uh, you started talking. And of course, this is the way to speak. I'm a Muslim. You're a Christian. This is the way to speak. Not like we are enemies of each other or we insult each other. That's not the way. You know, I mean, I'm a Muslim, I'm a human being. You're a Christian, you're a human being. So we have to respect each other. We're we don't need to... In, in the one universe. Hmm. And lovely talking to you. Yeah, and, sorry, I can't thank shake hands, oh, but I will salute okay. you. Okay? Okay, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. Very nice of you. Bye -bye. Nicely yes. spoken. Lovely to me too. And sir, thank you very thank much. You, thank you. Okay. Good luck in everything. Thank you, sir. Have a nice holiday, sir. All right, bye-bye.